A few days ago, I made a post in our community asking if you wanted me to find a way to create high quality monetizable faceless videos using only free AI tools. The response, incredible, hundreds of you said yes, you needed this. So I took up the challenge and what I ended up creating, be the judge. In a dusty village where dreams seemed as scarce as rain, young Amir tinkered with discarded wires and rusty gears. His nimble fingers wove intricate circuits while other children played in the streets. Amir's eyes sparkled with visions of gleaming machines, but his father's weary voice echoed, Fantasies won't put food on our table, son. Amir's world was small, but his imagination knew no bounds. He saw robots in the shadows of trees and sketched diagrams in the sand. His constant companion was an old, battered laptop he'd lovingly named Sparky. Though its screen flickered and its keys stuck, Sparky held a universe of knowledge within its worn plastic shell. At 18, Amir made a heart-wrenching choice. With tears in his eyes, he embraced his parents, shouldered a threadbare backpack containing Sparky and a handful of hopes, and boarded a crowded bus bound for the sprawling metropolis. His goal, to become an engineer and change the world, one invention at a time. Before I reveal the tool I used and walk you through the process, I had strict criteria for choosing the tools because I know most of you are trying to build real businesses, not just create random content. First, it had to create videos at least eight minutes long for monetization purposes. YouTube's algorithm loves longer content and you need that watch time to make real money. Second, it had to generate consistent characters scene after scene. Nothing kills a video faster than characters that look completely different every few seconds. Third, I wanted the ability to animate the images. Static slideshows just don't cut it anymore. Fourth, it needed to add professional voiceovers seamlessly. The narration has to sound natural and match the visuals perfectly. And finally, this was the big one. The entire video had to be edited completely for free and without spending 20 hours in the process. After testing dozens of AI tools, there was only one that met every single criteria. CapCut's new AI video maker. Now I know what you're thinking. CapCut, isn't that just a basic editing app? Not anymore, their new AI features are a complete game changer. It's like having an entire animation studio packed into a free app. Let me show you how it works. The first thing you need to do is sign up for CapCut using the link in the description, which will bring you to the page. Once you sign up, click the download button to install it on your computer. After it's installed, open CapCut. At the top, you'll see the AI Video Maker option just click on it and a new window will open. You can either start a new project from scratch or use the instant AI video option to let the AI create the video for you. I'll be showing you how to use the new project option. Once this opens up and it would ask to either enter your script if you have a script already or you could create one with AI click on create one with AI, it would ask you to type your topic. Go ahead and type in the title of our story and then key points. I've written out something that I want to use. I will paste it in the box. The title I typed in wired and more. Then for the duration, you can choose between one to 10 minutes. I'll go with three minutes. Next, mimic writing style. If you have a writing style you want the AI to follow, you can extract it from a video and upload it it here, I'll use elements from a Disney Pixar style storyline for added context, but this step is optional. If you have any additional requirements, you can add, then click create to start generating the script. Once the script is generated, review it and click use if you're satisfied. Make sure it's the story you want. If you're not happy with it, click create to generate a new version. You can also edit specific lines by clicking on them and selecting rewrite. You'll be given options like improve, make longer, or make shorter. Since I'm happy with this version, the next step is to add the voiceover. On the right hand side, click scenes. Under scenes, you'll find voiceover and media dot within voiceover. You'll see avatar. 
if your video includes an avatar, you can select one from the library or create your own. Since this is a story, we won't use an avatar. Next, click on voices, select English and choose a voice you like. I'll go with Tony. He sounds great. You also have the option to create a custom voice. Once you've selected your voice, click apply to all scenes and it will be applied throughout the video. The voice has been generated. Next, we'll add our media using this box. Quick heads up, I know some of you might not have access to the desktop version of CapCut. If you want me to cover how to do this step by step using the mobile app, just type mobile in the comments. If enough of you want it, I'll make a full mobile version breakdown next. Click on media and here's a quick explanation of the three options. One, generate AI media. This allows you to choose the aspect ratio. Since we're creating a YouTube video, select 16, 9, then choose a style. I'll use the cartoon 3D style for this example. After that, click apply to all scenes to start generating visuals based on your script. While that's generating, let me explain the other two options. Two, match your media. If you have your own media, you can upload it here. The AI will align your content with the script and voiceover. Three, match stock media. Once the AI images are ready, I'll show you this. It lets you browse and use stock footage available in CapCut. If your video needs it, this is a good option to consider. The images have been generated. One thing that stood out to me was the consistency of the AI generated images. Click on any scene and select replace to preview the image that was generated. While these may look low quality during editing, they'll export in high resolution solution click into the image to see how clear and polished it is. Let's check another scene for consistency. I'll click replace, then open the image. Again, the result looks great. If you want to change an image, keep in mind that the description field has a 200 character limit. Instead of editing the text, click generate to create a new image. If the new image matches your vision, click apply scene to replace the existing one. So to continue showing you the next steps I took, I've switched back to the video I created earlier. So it's easier to explain from this point forward. After you've added your voiceover, your clips, and made all the changes you want, the next step is to click on elements. In the elements section, you can adjust the settings to choose what you want to add. For example, you can turn off keywords and stickers and leave sound effects and visual effects on. This means the tool will add sound effects where needed, include transitions, and even add captions or subtitles. You can set the intensity to medium, high or low, I will leave it at medium and click on apply. It will apply these elements to the entire video. Once the elements have been applied, you'll notice the subtitles appear. And as you play through the video, you might hear some sound effects that don't perfectly match the video. We'll handle that in the advanced editing phase. The next step is to add music. To do that, you click on music and search for the type of music you want. For example, I searched for story and found a track called Magical Story, which suited the tone perfectly. Once you click on the music you've chosen, it will automatically apply to your video. You can then click on the three ellipses to adjust the volume slider and make sure the music doesn't overshadow your voiceover. Once you're happy with how everything sounds and looks, the next step is to refine your video further by adding transitions and animating some of the static images. To do that, you click on Edit More, which will load your project into the desktop app, bringing everything that was generated in the AI Video Maker right into your editing platform. Once CapCut Desktop open, you'll see everything has been added to the time timeline, music, voiceover, sound effects, clips, and auto captions. First, I'll remove all the sound effects because they don't align well with the video. Next, add transitions between scenes for smoother flow. Click transition, browse through the available options, and choose what fits each scene. 
You can expand the transition slightly to enhance the visual effect. When you play it back, you'll notice it looks much better, especially since some images already have keyframes. That's how I added transitions between each clip. Before animating the characters, I also added new sound effects. To do this, go to audio, click on sound effects, choose the ones that fit your scene and place them in the timeline where needed. For example, I'm animating a scene where a boy is walking on a circuit board while kids are playing. I'll go to audio sound effects outdoor and find a playground sound. Then I'll drag it to the timeline and reduce the volume so it doesn't overpower the voiceover. After transitions and sound effects, the next step is to animate some scenes. Go to media AI media. Here you'll see AI image and AI video. If you're using this feature for the first time, CapCut gives you a few free credits. Once they're used up, you'll need to purchase more. Even if you don't fully animate each scene, the results are still high quality and useful for storytelling. To animate an image, right click on it and select open file location. Find the saved image on your computer, drag it into the AI media tool and describe what the character should be doing in the prompt box. In this case, I'll describe a young boy working on a circuit board. I'll choose a static camera and use C-Dance video model, which understands natural language prompts. While CapCut also supports VideoG 4.0 powered by Runway, I'll stick with C-Dance. For type of motion, I'll select default, set the duration to 5 seconds and ensure the aspect ratio is 16 by 9. Since I've used up my free credits, I'll still show how it works with my paid credits. Click generate and the tool will convert the image into a video based on your prompt. The video has finished generating and if you play through it, you can see the character fiddling with the wires on the circuit board, which is really cool. You can go ahead and animate other portions of the video as you see fit. That's how I added sound effects in strategic places and animated certain scenes, like the one where the character is sitting on a hill and sketching, and another where he's on a bus heading to the city. I also added some transitions to enhance the flow. Once everything is ready and the editing is complete, you just click on export. You can choose the quality 1080p, 2K or 4K. I usually export in 4K. Then name your file appropriately, export it to your computer and it's ready to be uploaded to YouTube. And that's how I created a high quality monetizable 3D animation video using only free AI tools, no expensive software, no fancy gear and no team. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss future tutorials like this. And remember, if you want me to cover how to do this using just your phone, type mobile in the comments. I'll see you in the next one. In a dusty village where dreams seemed as scarce as rain, young Amir tinkered with discarded wires and rusty gears. His nimble fingers wove intricate circuits while other children played in the streets. Amir's eyes sparkled with visions of gleaming machines, but his father's weary voice echoed, fantasies won't put food on our table, son. Amir's world was small, but his imagination knew no bounds. He saw robots in the shadows of trees and sketched diagrams in the sand. His constant companion was an old, battered laptop he'd lovingly named Sparky. Though its screen flickered and its keys stuck, Sparky held a universe of knowledge within its worn plastic shell. At 18, Amir made a heart-wrenching choice. With tears in his eyes, he embraced his parents, shouldered a threadbare backpack containing Sparky and a handful of hopes, and boarded a crowded bus bound for the sprawling metropolis. His goal, to become an engineer and change the world, one invention at a time. The city was a cacophony of noise and neon, a labyrinth of towering buildings and indifferent faces. Amir found refuge in a cramped, cluttered workshop owned by Zara, a retired robotics engineer with a sharp tongue and a hidden heart of gold. She grudgingly allowed him to sleep on a cot in exchange for organizing her chaotic collection of spare parts. Amir's days became a blur of menial jobs and sleepless nights. He fixed broken appliances, delivered packages, and pored over textbooks until his eyes burned. Between shifts, he befriended fellow dreamers, Lena, a coding prodigy who spoke in ones and zeros, and Kai, an enthusiastic 3D printing was who could create anything from plastic scraps. 
the trio entered a prestigious tech competition, their goal to solve real-world problems with innovation. Amir's brainchild was a low-cost water filtration system powered by solar energy, a potential lifeline for villages like his own. As the competition deadline loomed, disaster struck. Their prototype malfunctioned, sparks flying from its circuitry. Amir's hands trembled as he worked through the night, fueled by determination and memories of home. With minutes to spare, they presented their creation to wide-eyed judges. Months of sweat and sacrifice paid off. Amir's team won first place, catapulting him into a world of opportunity. He graduated with honors, his inventions making headlines and improving lives across the globe. Years later, Amir returned to his village, not as the wide-eyed dreamer who left, but as a beacon of possibility. He brought with him not just knowledge and resources, but a living testament that with perseverance, even the wildest dreams can become reality. As he set up a community tech center in the old schoolhouse, children gathered around, their eyes shining with the same wonder that once filled his own.